Hey everybody, I'm Jonathan. This is Mia, and this is BMI's How I Wrote That Song. And we were just gonna share a quick story of our song that we wrote with our friend Eddie Hoagland called Yes I Will. And I remember the day that we all wrote this, it was a, uh, a song camp, and Eddie and some of the other guys from Vertical had flown in from Chicago. And uh, it was a two day deal, and it was the last song of a two day camp. And there's always like kind of that fourth session slump. Uh, everyone's a little tired and kind of probably ready to go home. And I remember Mia walking in and was like, guys, I know this is the last session, but like, what if we wrote like the best song of the week? <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of like came in as like Coach Mia and like pep this up. And I remember Eddie and I were like, yeah, like why not? And uh, she had this great title, Yes I Will. And I remember just sort of the, the song kind of quickly came together, yeah. at least the chorus, and we were sort of off to the races. Yeah. Writing the song. Um, it's funny because like so many songs, I guess you're often writing from experience, but this song kind of felt like it was writing from experience and for experience. Because it ended up being a song that I felt like I really needed the year that it came out. I remember it kind of just solidified even what some of my theology was. Um, but. It was funny, like at the end of the the session, we were kind of, Jonathan and I were kind of trying to figure out what the last line of the song was, and I wanted it, the song starts out "Yes, I will," and I kind of wanted to bookend it and make it "Yes, I will," and then finish with "Yes, I will." And Jonathan's like, "Well, what if we try something different?" And so then um, we we couldn't decide, so we got one of our other friends to come and take a vote on it, and um, we me, didn't. Me or one? I won. But then, <laughs> but then the great thing was. Um, we basically recorded the song, um, just a demo of it, and we didn't have a second verse, so we just kind of recorded like the first verse twice as a placeholder, and I really wanted a second verse. So I wrote a second verse for it, and I sent it to Jonathan, and he sang it down, and, and I think as payback, he <laughs> he did not put it in the song. I sang, I sang the first verse lyric as the second verse. Yes. And that's, in a, that's how the song ended up. That's how the song ended up. We yeah. never ended up using the second verse that we had, because in hindsight, when I read it now, it's not very good. Um, but that's kind of how the song came to be. It's a really a song that, that's an every season kind of song, especially for people that, um, it's like just really solidifying what their theology is, that in every season we've got a reason to praise God, and every season we can say that he's good because he mm -hmm. is and he doesn't change. And um, who knew that it would kind of travel to where it's traveled and become that kind of anthem for people. Yeah. So that's how we write the song.